Good morning from Iceland. It's day three. We are finishing the Golden Circle today with a visit to Geyser, Stoker. The, uh, those are the geysers that are up. Um, geyser, pronounced geyser, is actually an Icelandic word in the first place. Um, then we are going to Golfoss, which is supposed to be a very dramatic waterfall. Then we are visiting the oldest hot spring lagoon used for public bathing in Iceland called the Secret Lagoon. And then we're going to end our day at the Carib Crater before we head to our next Airbnb. But I just got to say, look at the incredible view, okay, from the adorable common room and kitchen in the place that we're staying tonight. So this facility um, has bedrooms that I showed you in the other video and then full bathrooms but they're like across the hall and then this amazing little common room where you can relax and cook and make your coffee and if it happens for you enjoy the northern lights which did not happen for us last night unfortunately but I'm still holding out hope. So where we have stayed the night is a working horse farm and uh, so we're gonna come see if we can give the little horsies a pat pat. Uh, Icelandic horses, very much a thing. Um, it's a unique breed and they're very cautious about importing other types of horses or exporting the Icelandic horse so that they can maintain that purity of breed. They are short, stocky, hardy little horses. Um, and during the summertime, uh, a lot of them free range and then they gather them back up in the fall in this like kind of uh, like ceremonial type thing where all the farmers come and they, you know, cowboy style, gather the horses back um, and split them back out to go winter on their farms. They do the same thing with their sheep here. A lot of the sheep are free roaming and they do the same. So we're kind of assuming we can walk up here to where the horses are. Um, but we'll stop, I guess, if any people stop us. This would be my sister's favorite part. <laughs> Getting double pats, double scratches. geothermal activities. Truly the land of fire and ice. This is Stroker. It is the still active geyser that we are kind of waiting on. And all around it, ice. <laughs> the original, the first thing, the first one. The actual OG, the original geyser. <laughs> it is dormant now, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is the one that gave its name to every other geyser in the world. So, Old Faithful can thank Geyser for the name Geyser, which Americans pronounce geyser. 
Good. Up close. The original geyser. You actually can get, it, it's like shockingly close that you can stand to it. <laughs> of course I missed it because I got, uh, I started talking. <laughs> oh well, maybe we'll catch it again later. In case you were curious, the water running off of it. I would like to state for the record <laughs> that I get accused of, oh, oh we're they, just gonna we're, just, <laughs> we're just going to walk over that hill and that's the hill. Okay, <laughs> so I get accused of dragging us on all kinds of underselling the strenuous nature of the adventure. Let us take a peek at where he wants to go right now. Not me. He wants to walk all the switchbacks to get up there. Okay, so if we do that, it's on the record as being your idea and not mine. One time. Okay. One time. Okay. All right. All right. We made it to the summit of the mountain. Oh, this is a video. It's a video now. All right. And on this side over here, you get the view of the mountain and the valley. And then over here, presumably, will be the panorama of geyser. <laughs> and I jumped instead of hitting the record button. <laughs> but it feels like I'm gonna bust my butt. Yeah, he went down there just fine with his northern jeans assisting with the traction. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that it's the same. Okay. Uh. Alright, we acquired some food because yes. hunger. So we, I have the lamb sandwich with salad because, because that's a salad in Iceland because vegetables are few and far between. Of course, we have a little apple scene Fanta. And what I also should have gotten, because this was a much better deal, okay, is this feast. And what have you got on this plate? So I've got some the catch of the day. Okay. Um, some potates, uh -huh. a vegetable medley, which yes. is awesome, uh -huh. some rice, and then this, which is like a cod, it's supposed to be like a cod salad. Like I have a, a feeling yeah. that I know what that is. Is it going to be the, uh, the hamburger it, helper? Yes, I um, think that's exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you're right. That's 100% yeah. what this is. But I was kind of impressed because the chef just kept, he gave you all the sides. Yep. And he saw you and he was so like, this man needs some extra fish. I got, yeah, I got this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Also, we're sitting next to some portraits of Icelandic wrestlers. Yeah. On the wall right there. Oh, yeah. Gonna have to scope that out. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna eat our insanely overpriced food here at, at Geezer. Yeah, well, and listen, supply and demand. Yeah. We, this is, if this trip is, teaches you nothing else. It's basic economics. Yeah, okay. that's right, that's right. <laughs> because I would have paid double for what we have here. Okay. Okay. Just to get a hot Just meal. Just to get a hot meal. Nice. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, back in the car. Yes. We spent almost exactly two hours here. Yeah. Just in case people are actually watching this video for information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And in two hours, we got to walk around the whole field, go up to the overlook, yep. and have a nice warm meal. Uh, I would say I personally suggest if you can get here earlier mm -hmm, cause because it's crowded now it is kind of crowded now we comparatively got, yeah we got here at 10 27 and it's 12 29 right now. Mm -hmm. so. um, the food mm -hmm. uh well the overlook was awesome and i know it seems really high <laughs> up there but i would totally do that and i would footwear i would definitely wear like a hiking boot yeah unless of course there's like like if it's winter you, you're gonna need some crampons. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It was already icy still yeah. here. And uh, yeah, very cool. I would say the state still wins in terms of awesome geo 
thermal areas, but definitely something to see. And they know they're the midpoint on the Golden Circle because their facilities are robust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's um, you didn't need to pay for the bathrooms, which is cool. Right, and the whole the whole place is free. There's no yeah. fee for parking, no fee mm -hmm. entrance fee, which is also really nice. Um, so yeah, the food was good. There was there's hot food there, mm -hmm. um, which is far and few between. Yes, out here. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm glad we could feed my man something other than another ham roll up. Yeah, no, it was good. It's delicious. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 good. We're gonna try to get gas at the little singular gas pump mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. to top it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that the plan? Yes. All right, and then we are headed to. Because those are also far and few between. Yeah. So if you're driving, stop I would get whenever gas. you see gas. Yeah, we get gas. Before. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't burned a ton of gas. No. Uh, actually, still. Dusty's very efficient. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Dusty's a great car. Yeah. Dusty's doing his, Dusty's doing his due diligence. Oh, I'm yeah. proud. Yeah. You, you've, you've said he's a he's like an advanced oh, stick yeah. shift car. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. yeah, like you can just start this car. You don't have to press. Oh, do we talk about how to get in reverse? Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. But you know what we didn't talk about? Mm -hmm. How you made me drive in circles around the parking lot Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah yes. I only stalled out three times. No, you stalled twice, but Dusty saved you because all you had to do is press the clutch and it starts the car back, which is like kind of impressive. Mm -hmm. But um, and, and I think, I think you did well. I think I could drive the car. I don't yeah. think I can start and stop the car. Yeah. Well, I feel like the starting, <laughs> I don't mind. The stopping, we should we, we should, should make practice. sure we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being, being able to stop is. I feel like kind of important. There. Yeah, that's up okay. there. Maybe we'll try it later. Today. Oh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, we'll have to. Later. Right, here we Look go. This view. Are you gonna show this view? But I don't know that they're gonna be able to see it. That's cool. Yeah. Well, you'll see it yourselves. We have arrived at Golfos, and we spent a little time in the car because, well, for one, it was warm in there. Uh, they have seat warmers, <laughs> uh, but also because back here, which again is incredibly dramatic in person less dramatic on camera but uh that is the long jokul glacier the second largest glacier in iceland and the water and geothermal activity from that glacier are what creates the sulfur fissure i snorkeled in yesterday and the geyser field we just toured and of course the gigantic waterfall that we are about to go see um so it's very cool and of course powell's like why can't we go walk on that i'm like because it's very far over there uh, but we are later in the trip going to be walking on the biggest glacier in Iceland. I don't know where this thing goes but uh, that's a person for scale against the tire right there. Um, my guess is it goes on that glacier over there but the uh, this guy's definitely got it on on Dusty. Barely. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know. This is where we're going to get it. Oh, <laughs> I know it's taller than me. This is Gullfoss, the golden waterfall. And it is very impressive. There's a rainbow down there. I don't know if you can see it. The person who designed this, I want to find their family. Okay. Like, why are we, why? On the major tourist roads of Iceland, there are one. Blind, not only, not only one-way bridges, but blindsided one-way bridges. It's got a road to Hana feel. What in the world? What was that? I don't know. All right. We are in the secret lagoon. Oh, there's a which is more of a swimming. Yes. 
than a spa type situation. So it's a different vibe. But I kind of like it because you can sort of swim around in the warm. Um, and uh, this is actually the oldest public swimming pool in Iceland. And uh, yeah, pretty good vibes. Um, we did have a reservation and we were very late for it, but it didn't seem to be an issue of any kind. So take your time around the golden circle and uh, end your day here, or if you're us, continue on to the carrot crater. But definitely take some time for your hot spring action. So I'm gonna say, this is my dream because this is a hot tub swimming pool. And I love a hot tub because I like the temperature, but I want to be able to swim. And so I always lament the fact that the swimming pools are cold and the hot tubs are hot, but I want to swim around. This is literally a hot tub swimming pool. It is glorious. I could get used to this life. And you can see right behind us the whole geyser field that's like the geothermal underpinning of this place. And the little geyser behind us actually erupts every now and again, uh, which I missed, of course, on video, but we'll see if it happens again. Um, and there's little fairy houses over here. This is a vibe. I 100% I recommend this. See the little geyser? It's so adorable. Look at the geyser. What? So we've left the hot spring and we had kind of a good news, bad news restaurant situation because we are hungry and uh, there are no open restaurants right now. But we found out this, this little wine bar and bistro is open and it's right next to these cool greenhouses that we've been seeing in this part of the country. <coughs> and they're growing tomatoes in this one. And look how prolifically they're growing these tomatoes. And you know me and gardening. So I'm kind of psyched, yeah. We were joking that all the greenhouses must have rhubarb in them because, well, there's a lot of rhubarb. But um, this also is where all the people are. So I think it really is the only thing open right now. Mm -hmm. Delicious? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, delicious. Totally worth it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what the place is called. Oh. Fried beer? Fried beer? Yeah, fried amar. Fried amar. That's right. Yes. And it's a if you type in tomatoes, you'll find it. You'll find it. So it's surround tomato greenhouses everywhere, mm -hmm. and the restaurant very tomato forward. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Which sounds gimmicky, but yeah. Was it is a little gimmicky, but it's also kind of like appreciated because I didn't realize mm -hmm. just how little vegetables, fruits and veggies we've eaten. So next to none. Yeah. So you had a salad. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What do we call it? A salad? There was no lettuce. Yeah, zero lettuce in this salad. It which, was more a bowl of mixed nuts. Uh huh. Which was delicious. Uh, it was busted. Yeah. I mean, it was good. Good. It was like it had. Mixed nuts, mm -hmm. um, the tomatoes, which really like, I mean, they they put on a show, I mm -hmm, think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it had some basil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then it had some, some blueberries. 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 Which was like. The little like, like cheese balls. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like you mozzarella. Kind of like, again, mm -hmm. you, I didn't realize how little fruits mm -hmm. we've eaten until that meal. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, we really haven't had any. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you got it with lamb and mm -hmm. mustard sauce on top. And the mustard sauce was delicious. The lamb was great. Um, I think here, mm -hmm. like lamb, you know, uh, if you've done any other research, lamb is the equivalent to beef. Mm -hmm. So like if you're looking for a steak or something, like, you're not going to find it. Right. Not but the all. lamb's, like, the you lamb know, is they're good. red meat and it's really good. And the, uh, then we also ha <laughs> had a smoked trout bruschetta. That's which was also delicious. very good, mm -hmm, delicious. Mm -hmm. And the tomato soup, which is their signature dish. Yes, actually. And uh, I'll be, I know you're not a big soup, tomato soup person. Not a tomato soup person. Was, um, I thought it was great. And then the thing that really highlighted the tomato soup mm -hmm. to me was the bread that it came with. Um, because that bread was kind of like doughy, 
and mm -hmm. like spongy, mm -hmm. but not, yeah, mm -hmm. it was, it wouldn't have been the type of bread they would have served in the U.S., I don't think. It, it would have been Yeah, it would have been crusty. like a crusty thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, and this, uh, and the tomato soup, I, I thought it was good because it was, it was tomato soup. It wasn't yeah. trying to be marinara sauce, yep. mm -hmm. wasn't trying to be salsa, mm -hmm. wasn't trying to be gazpacho, yep. wasn't trying to be creamy. No, it was just It was tomato, tomato soup. soup. Yeah, it was, yeah. And it had basil oil on it. It was good. We also, there was a caper that came on the bruschetta plate. That was the size of my face. It was the, <laughs> mm -hmm. it was the biggest <laughs> caper ever. I mean, it was the size of an olive. That was the other thing that was here. They had some olive. And I'll say this, yeah. maybe it's just me, but like, after doing the hot springs, you don't realize how much you're sweating and mm -hmm. you're like... You need some salt. Yeah, but man, those olives like, were mm, hitting the spot. Yeah, it was like perfect. That was like exactly what... And I didn't even... I would have never thought to myself, oh, I, I could grow some olives right now. But it was almost like the olives came to me. Came to you. They, they just materialized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, but, I, but yeah, that juniper... Because capers are juniper berries and mm -hmm. juniper is a big thing here. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of interesting. And it wasn't heavily brined or pickled. No. Nope. So you could taste... Mm -hmm what it was it, it was just very it, interesting yeah. i just never had anything like that before and it so. wasn't and that's the other thing too like none of none of this is overly sauced no like there wasn't like but it's full of flavor it still. was full of flavor but it wasn't like they weren't getting the flavor from the dressing they were right the from, the from the ingredients yeah is. yeah and i've noticed that like it's not nothing is bland at mm -hmm. all it's but it's and kind simple of like we mentioned mm -hmm. right on the walk over here i personally think you know we paid that was like Seventy dollars, yeah. Which, for right or wrong, good or bad or indifferent, like we would probably spend about that, including tip. Oh, in right, because you don't tip here. Yeah, like right. if you were like if we yeah. were to tip. You're right, because it would have been so. yeah, and it, you had the fine dining environment mm -hmm. thing going on. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably not that. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. So, you're right, especially once you factor in tip. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally right. Yeah. All right, on to the carrot crater. We have made it to Carrot Crater. Oh, huh? Oh. Hello, yes. And you can tell from the color of the dirt that things are different here. This is a volcano, no longer active. Cone volcano that emptied its magma chamber and collapsed in on itself, forming a crater about 6,500 years ago. And, uh, the water that we will see momentarily in the bottom of the crater is simply the water table. So it is about 55 meters deep. We're gonna walk the rim afterwards. We decided to get the exercise portion out of the way first. And, uh, oh, it's frozen still. <laughs> so you don't really get the color, I guess, in the winter. Yeah, I think you can walk to the edge of it. I'm gonna say, I feel like this is more uh, stunning probably in the summer when the water is very blue, but it's still interesting. There are signs everywhere telling you not to walk on the ice because it's pretty tempting, I think, for uh, most people here to want to walk on the ice. So we're kind of walking along the, the edge here. And I'm pretty sure all of these people also want to throw things onto the ice because yes. you know how much people enjoy throwing ice onto ice. At least Instagram would have you believe that. It's interesting how it's frozen in like concentric rings. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like from the inside out. Yeah. And um, I wonder if that's because of the like, steel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised this is. Uh... I guess you said because it's coming from the water. But it's not. Yeah, it's, it's just the water table. And it's yeah. Really and um, in the sunlight in the summertime, the water is like crazy blue against the like kind of volcanic y rock. Hey, and please. it's pretty. Are you saying put the video yeah. away and focus on our footsteps? Yes, please. Because this feels like a way for me to fall in the, yes. in the crater. Okay, good idea. Like you can see trails of air bubbles. See, 
we don't have frozen lakes where I come from. So I think that's neat. Okay, also, either people or nature have been throwing a lot of rocks onto this bad boy. <laughs> and you said it's not that thick. But that didn't break it. Yeah. So it must be kind well, of thick. Yeah, that's a good point. Except that this is volcanic rock, so it's not super heavy. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. That was some impressive cinematography, babe. Yeah. Influences in the wild. Oh God. Are we influencers. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That, that was a. That was, very a, influencer that, was a, that was very influencer behavior. <laughs> oh man. Do you want to walk around the top without filming it? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did all that in one go. Very. Which is like these are the first trees we've seen this whole time. Yeah, and then back there, so far, like you probably can't see it in the video, but the glacier is over there. You can see the peaks from here. There's not a single ounce of light in this direction. Right. Yeah, and then forest. Yeah, it's wild. But in the meantime, you've got this just like volcanic rock. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. So, I do like to stop in fast food places when we travel internationally, just because they tend to have different things. All right, but the last McDonald's in Iceland closed in 2009, and they put the final burger in a museum somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know where it is, but I did read about that. But we entered civilization. We are in Selfoss, and we found this. So, and we're not gonna get hit by, by a giant, whatever that is. All right, shall we find out what they have in KFC in Iceland? Or? So we have burgers but they're chicken sandwiches. And then there's veggie chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. All right, what are we gonna get? Yeah. You can get a veggie burger. Yeah, it's like a tender situation. So nothing super unusual. Oh, you can get a side of gravy. Ah, cotitol salsa. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Oh no, they're out of garlic mayo. Pepper mayo. I bet that's like what we had, the pastusa. Yep. All right. Well, we'll make some decisions here. Mm. You get a pretty boy chuckle. Pretty boy chuckle. Mmm. You're a pretty boy chuckle, babe. have like a cute little freestyle machine but for Pepsi products. So uh Iceland KFC has one thing going for it. Free refills, mm -hmm. self-serve, and ice in their drinks. The weight was something else. Yeah. Uh very it wasn't. Okay, however, the box master awaits. Also the kernel looks different on it. The kernel's looking a little old, right? Yeah. It's a little wrinklier. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm ready to see the glory that is the box master. Box master. And then 
We also got some. Uh, <gasps> oh, that's right. I forgot. Some coleslaw. Coleslaw. Icelandic KFC coleslaw. coleslaw. All right. Can't wait. Go ahead. The box master reveal. Look at this innovative packaging. Oh. 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 What? Feels like it's built to do that. Oh. Is it in a tortilla? It's a wrap, yeah. <coughs> what? It's like a... It's like a... But it's grilled. Like the wrap is pressed. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Give it a try? Sure. Pepper mayo, I see. Mm -hmm. And it's got like a potato in there. A potato? It's like a hash brown, a chicken pie, and cheese with the pepper mayo. Well, that's probably pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. the, the inclusion of potato. Yeah. Just like in the things. Yeah. I don't it's, know what to put in this. Ah, try to toss in yeah. a potato. Oh, uh, some rhubarb. <laughs> All right. Okay. Interesting. Welcome to our Hecla cabin room tour. This is an adorable little cabin in the middle of nowhere. Uh, We're starting our drive down the southern coast in the morning, so we got a little down, uh, down the way um, tonight. So it's super cute. Uh, it's got a little bathroom back here, a little kitchen area here, and. Uh, We've got the bedroom, and I really dig how in Iceland you get two separate little comforter things, so nobody's fighting for blankets. Um, but again, the best part of this place is that you've got all of these great windows everywhere so that if the northern lights come out, you can see them from the inside without even having to leave your warm cozy little cabin so last night they didn't come out and the forecast was slightly better for them last night Ooh, yikes but we can always hope right because we would be able to see them right from our bedroom if they did